Hello guys, my name is Matt and today we are taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of May for 2022. So let's jump into it. Boy, do I have some good apps to show you guys. Let's talk about it. So the first app on the list is called Adobe Express. Recently, I've started my internship. I've been creating a lot of graphics and logos, and it could be kind of challenging to come up with some, some good ideas. And so Adobe Express is packed full of templates for Instagram posts, Facebook posts, whatever it is, if it's graphical, Adobe Express is gonna have you covered. So jumping into the app, the first thing you are seeing is all these sort of templates. At the top here, you can see there's the option to choose between flyers, Instagram posts, Instagram stories, logos, YouTube thumbnails, collages, there is a ton of things you can do in this app and it's free. It's really easy to use. So if I want to create a logo, simply go ahead and click on the logo section. It's got all these templates. There's business, restaurants, fashion and beauty. I just need to go ahead and choose one of the templates that I like, like this one here. And then I can go ahead and remix the template and customize it to make it mine. So if I have my own business or my own brand and I want to, you know, create a new logo, I can just go in here and I can customize it so I can change the name from Billy's Berries to Matt's Berries because Matt's Berries are much better. I just realized this isn't even a berry. This is a lemon. So we're going to go ahead and change that. You can replace the photo by double tapping on it. There we go. So now we actually have some form of berry looking thing rather than a lemon. And then down here, you can also change the text. But not only can you change the text and images, you can change the colors, you can change the whole theming, and you can add various effects, you can add animations, you can create sort of these short video graphics of your logo moving. There's a ton of stuff you can do. Go check out Adobe Express. It's literally a must have for anyone starting a business or running a YouTube channel or anything to do with social media or marketing. This is like vital. Coming up at app number two is Stereo. This app is basically a community where you can go ahead and meet new people. Jumping into it, there is a really nice user interface actually. It's like really clean, super flat, and it's got kind of an Android 12 theme, which I like with these tiles. And basically you scroll down this feed, you can view all the ongoing chats with people and you can see their avatar. You can create your own avatar. I've actually made my own one here. You can sort of personalize it. You can link up your Instagram account and everything. And then you can go ahead and join in these groups and you can have discussions, you can physically speak or you can type and you can go ahead and find groups depending on your interests. So no matter if you're interested in physics or photography or music or spirituality or humor, you can go ahead and jump into any one of these topics. There is absolutely tons to choose from. And you can go ahead and see the popular talkers. You can see all the communities, you know, giving jokes because this is the joke topic. So we can scroll down. If you want something fun, if you want something to, to learn from or meet new people, then this is a really, really nice app. But let's just click on one of the groups here. As you can see, there are some people in the group. We can see who they are. We can click on them, subscribe to them, follow them. It's basically like social media, but it's more virtual and avatar based. So yeah, go check it out. App number three is Buckist. Buckist is a really great app for storing all of your bucket lists because we all have bucket lists. There's always things we want to aim to do before we eventually die because, you know, life gets boring and it's fun to step outside our comfort zone and explore new topics. And so Buckist allows us to make a list with all the things that we're sort of aiming to do. You can include dates as well. So if you want to do something by a certain date, you can go ahead and add that in here. And then the app's going to remind you, look, life's short you need to go ahead and do this by like next month. So I've went ahead and done that. I've added some active bucket list goals in here. So reach 50,000 subscribers, get a Tesla, see the Northern Lights. And I've also got some achieved ones which I've already ticked off like flying a plane, which was pretty cool. At the bottom here, there is a little category section so we can actually go and group all of these bucket list topics via categories. So travel, health and fitness, work, learning, whatever it is, we can add them to these little subgroups. And then there's also a trending section here. So you can go ahead and find inspiration for things that you hadn't really thought about, things that other people have shared that you know might interest you. And you can click on them, you can add them to your own bucket list, and then um, yeah, just add some extra things for yourself to do in life. So uh, that is Buckist. And number four is Wally Pop. I love a great wallpaper. And as you all know, I love those flat graphical based wallpapers. And that is actually where I got the wallpaper for today's video. So if you want that, I'll leave a link down below to this wallpaper file. 
as well as to the app. Inside the app, there is this collection section, which has all the wallpapers grouped together depending on the category. So there's AMOLED wallpapers, abstract wallpapers, architecture wallpapers. These ones are actually pretty cool, pretty funky designs. There's some, some cool sort of minimalist office-like setups. And you can go ahead and save this as well. You can see the resolution. You can see how many people have viewed it and, and all the good stuff, including the tags. And of course you can favorite it. So if you wanna find it later, you can go ahead and easily do that. But there is an absolute ton of beautiful wallpapers in this app. They're so punchy and colorful. Some of them may be a little bit too colorful for my liking, but honestly, they are super high quality. And I really love the variety of all the different types of wallpapers in here. They really are abstract. Some of them are freaking crazy. But um, yeah, if you want some nice wallpapers, you wanna sort of spice up your home screen setup, really like this one of the car, then this is a great wallpaper app to check out. Out number five is Linker. So you know, whenever you wanna share your social media pages, you normally can only share one link on your social platform. For example, on Twitter or on Instagram, there's only space for one link. And so Linker allows you to link up that one link with all your social media accounts. So you can go ahead and create a template. And in this template, you can add your various different social medias. So you can add your Instagram, your YouTube, your Twitter, and it's pretty easy to do. All you do is you select a template in this little template section. Some of them are paid, but some of them are free. So I just chose one of the free ones. And then we can go ahead and edit this template. So in the body section here, we can go ahead and add all our various links. So you just click on the add items button. You can click on a link here, and then you just go ahead and type in your link and your title, and it's gonna actually go ahead and apply that to your profile. You can also add various media content as well as icons. You can really spice it up and make it your own little personal page. And it allows people to easily connect to you right across all your social platforms. So Linker is app number five. App number six is Weather Today. And I really like this app because it integrates that sort of theme and style of Android 12. So it does add these sort of tiles and it integrates with the color palette from the theme section of Android 12 as well. And I just quite like it. It's got really accurate weather information. It's got all the information I need to see. There is a couple of ads, but um, I just like the whole Android 12 theme. Even at the bottom here, this sort of tab bar, it just has the Android 12 vibe. And you know, I'm actually running Android 13 right now. Um, I will be doing a video on that soon. So if you wanna, you know, subscribe down below, I will be posting a video on the top features of Android 13 fairly soon. And then there's a forecast section. So in here, we can go ahead and view the expected rainfall, we can view the wind speed as well as the UV index. And this is pretty cool because it's just a super simple way of seeing the weather, the highs, the lows, all the information you need in a quick glance. So I really do like this forecast page. It is pretty neat. And then the last tab just allows you to add all the different places that you wanna check up the weather on. So that's a really nice app. Weather today is super, super clean. Check it out, link is down below. The next app up is Planoli, and this app allows you to plan your posts on your Instagram page. So do you ever follow those photography pages? And when you look at the feed, all the pictures match, they're all sort of color coordinated. This app allows you to plan all your future posts and it allows you to upload all the pictures you wanna post. It's gonna allow you to reorder them and schedule them. And you can jump into the calendar and actually schedule each picture to be posted on a certain date at a certain time. And this can be really handy when you're growing your followers and remaining consistent when posting. Overall, it's a great app. You can also view the analytics of, you know, how successful a post was. So yeah, that's plan only, go check it out. The next app on the list is actually a launcher and this is called Launcher. So a lot of people have heard of Launcher. This is the latest version right here. It's got the latest and greatest features and it has a very pixel vibe. As you can see, it looks very similar to the official pixel launcher that I'm using but this allows you to get that sort of pixel theme on any Android device. And it's very easy to use, very fluid. You have a lot of settings to choose from, so you can go ahead and customize your phone quite a bit. There's a lot of different options in terms of resizing your icons, changing the appearance of them, adding quick gestures. You can also go ahead and tweak the dock. You can move the search bar. There's lots of different things you can do. I really couldn't go through all the features, but it allows you to add a lot of things that are on the pixel on any Android device. So if you want sort of that pixel theme, you wanna add gesture support, then go check out Launcher. Number nine on the list is Repod. And the only way I can actually describe this app is by saying it's basically like Twitter, but for podcasts. So you can go ahead and create a post and alongside that post, you can share a podcast with it. So if people, you know, wanna find out more information about the little post you made, they can go and listen to the full podcast. You don't have to share just your own podcast. You can share other people's. You can reshare podcasts that other people have shared. 
And honestly, it's a great experience when listening to podcasts. You just click on the post, it's gonna go ahead and start up the podcast. And this can be great for people starting out with new podcasts if they wanna share it with people, gain feedback from them, and overall have a little discussion about it then this is really nice. You can go and add the podcast to playlists. You can also jump into this explore section and you don't have to view the posts. You can purely just look at all the different podcasts and listen to them. And yeah, it's just a podcast app. Allows you to download the podcast as well. So if you're going on a trip somewhere or you you don't have Wi-Fi or connectivity, you can download a bunch of podcasts and listen to them on your journey. So yeah. And then the last app on this list is actually an add-on for KWGT. So KWGT is a widget pack. And this right here is an Android 12 add-on. So you have all your Android 12 widgets, which you can access on any platform. So even if you have Android 11, download KWGT, download this free widget pack, and you can get all these widgets completely free on your device, which is really nice because a lot of people are still stuck on Android 11. And I'm actually using Android 13 right now. So, you know, Android is screwed up in terms of the updates, Google's super fast and then third parties are kind of slow. So, you know, you really can't win. But if you do want that pixel experience and you want so that stock feel, you can pick up these widgets. They're honestly really beautiful. Like I really like the theme of Android 12 or Android 13, whatever it is, you know, they all look really, really nice. And they can look a bit childish, a bit funky, but you know what? It's a little bit different. And if you want to check them out, the link is down below. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. That is my top 10 Android apps for May of 2022. And I know I'm actually early to the game. Boom, I tried super hard this month to actually, you know, post at the start of the month rather than in the middle of the month. And I had a lot going on. But thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for watching. And if you guys could help me reach my bucket list goal of 50,000 subscribers and click that bell icon down below, that would be really, really, really appreciated. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,